YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got my sales video you're going to be seeing for December of 2015. Uh, December treated me pretty good. Uh, did very well. Um, also, just in the first few days of January, I'm doing well. Um, seems to be I have a better January than a December. Last couple of years, not sure why that is, but I will take it. Uh, first item was... Uh, I believe this is Connor's. He's still selling some stuff he picked on in the summer. Um, this is a Sony Discman. He sold it for $15. And for some reason, he did free shipping. Not sure why that is. But um, he always insists that he... <laughs> he's like, oh, I, I built it into the price. I'm like, okay... Uh, next item is also his. This is a Nintendo DSi bundle. Uh, had the games, the DSi, the uh, stylus, and the charger. Uh, it was in pretty good condition. He sold that for $50. He also did free shipping on that. Uh, next item is a Boy Scouts of America long sleeve shirt. I believe this was a youth medium. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Has the uh, different uh, information on there. Uh, next item. These actually, the next three items were sold all together for $28.97 uh, plus shipping. It was. <clears throat> these uh some miniature items i got so there was this one uh next one was this table the trestle trestle stand and that one was sealed and the third one was <clears throat> it says cabinet top it looks like a shelving unit to me this one was also sealed not too bad Next item, uh, you'll remember this from one of my hauls. This is a basket with lid from Egypt. Um, it sold for $40. Well, I had it up for $59.99. Took an offer of $40 and also the buyer paid shipping. I only paid a couple of bucks for this. The lady had purchased it herself when she was in Egypt. Very unique piece. Would look nice on somebody's shelf. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I actually sold two uh, of these to two different people, but instead of showing you the picture twice, <laughs> um, these are three Lion Brand Pink Eyelash Yarn, also called Fun Fur. Um, you'll remember I bought these over the summer. No, I don't think I bought these over the summer. I bought these at the thrift store not too long ago. And I've had maybe 12 or 15 of them, and I've been selling them consistently uh, a lot of three for $9.99 plus shipping. So twice, that was $20. Another Connor item. This is a Paper Mario Nintendo DS uh, game. This sold for $15 uh, free shipping. Next item is a PS2, no, PSP game, Valkyrie Profile. This was Connor's also. Sold for $14 and free shipping. Next item, these are one of these mini perfumes that I sold. Uh, vintage uh, Muguet de Bois. I'm not French, I can't pronounce it. But it is made by Cody, and it's only like 30% full, but it did sell for $9.99. See this quarter there? It shows you how small these bottles are. So I think it's more for the bottle than the actual perfume, but I've been doing pretty good. Those have been slowly and steadily um, going out the door. <clears throat> Next item. I actually sold two of these to two different people. Um, I had them for $15 uh, 
uh, or best offer. I had them up for a while. Um, they weren't doing so great. This is a paint by number kit. I believe there's five canvases and uh, a booklet and some other uh, items in there. And one person offered me 10 and I accepted the offer. And then another person just paid the $15. So I ended up selling both of those for $25. Um, also, buyer paid shipping on these. Uh, another uh, GameCube game from Connor, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Uh, he sold this for $25 and free shipping. Picks. She heard a car door, so we're all a flutter now. You know, I've been uh, debating whether I should take some of these uh, 35 millimeter slides down, but all of a sudden they're starting to sell again. So I bought the entire bag at a garage sale last year for $2. And I've been selling them for mostly $9.99 each, like this one, and a few for $4.99. This one is a 1959. I had black or blue car. Um, this one sold for $9.99 free shipping. Um, these are pretty light. I can probably, I can put two in an envelope, like if I have a lot of two or somebody buys two, uh, they can go on a first class envelope with a piece of cardboard so they don't get bent. And I can ship them out with a first class stamp. That's what I've been doing. And this one is, I don't think I said the year, a 1959 car. Isn't that cool? Next item uh, is a white 9-inch cow or bull ceramic um, pitcher. It has a Japan on the bottom. Uh, this item was in really nice condition, had no other marks other than Japan. Sold it for $39.99. Uh, buyer paid shipping. See on the bottom it says Japan. Take lots of pictures. Remember, you got all these different pictures you know, I think there was a little chip or something there, but I mean, you got tons of pictures, take them. It doesn't take any much more time uh, to put them up there, so it's definitely worth your effort. Uh, this is a Fossil Keeper purse. Uh, it's got the leather trim and then it's like a coated, plastic coated canvas. This one sold for $39.99, buyer paid shipping in really 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 nice condition um, I stuffed this with uh, plastic bags too to give it shape um, I always hate when I see pictures on here and it looks like a balloon with the air all deflated <laughs> it's like people stuff something in there make it look a little bit like it is once you put all your junk in there next item these were kind of an experiment when I picked them up a set of four I put man cave in the title. Uh, wallpaper border. They have the grizzly bear on them in the river. They sold for $24.99 uh, buyer paid shipping. Um, the only thing I forgot to do with this listing is to put the measurement from you know from here to here. I did the length of each roll, but I didn't do that and I had a question answered that question right away and the person ended up purchasing them a few minutes later. If you got questions, you know, make sure you have the app and you get to them as soon as possible. If you don't answer buyers questions, they're going to go elsewhere. Because uh, if they want something now or they're looking right at that moment, you got to make sure you answer the questions. Uh, make that sale. Um, these were several um, anime, uh, Inuashi anime DVDs season one. These are still shrink wrapped. I've had these a while. I did mark them down to $9.99 just to kind of get rid of them. And this one sold for $9.99 with buyer paying shipping. Uh, sold another vintage Polaroid 600 one step. This one uh, had the manual with it which was nice. This one sold for $23.99. Um, I believe 
it says that it was reconditioned yeah so I made sure I took a picture of that and I mentioned it in the listing but it worked perfectly everything was fine with it so next item I, I haven't had this that long and I put it up and within a week it sold it is a vintage 1983 Bernat uh, cross stitch kit with horses I listed that for $14.99 and it sold funny that 1983 is vintage. Doesn't that make you ill? <laughs> uh, next item. This is something you might end up passing by because you think uh, it has Target on it. It is a Rafe New York uh, shoulder bag, wet look, uh, patent leather, uh, it was very clean condition. I got this on my uh, close to my anniversary when my husband and I went to Columbus and I went into a thrift store and this is one of the only items I found there but um, once I saw Target I was like oh nobody's gonna want to buy this because it's from a store from a close you know Target uh, ended up it sold for $34.99 uh, like I said make sure you stuff it with plastic bags and then of course take them out for the picture look how clean that was um, really, really nice condition. It did have this small stain here, which I made sure that I took a picture of. And it sold for $35. Uh, so if you see something that looks really nice, but it says Target, uh, look it up. Take the chance. Um, we had a family friend actually give us uh, some items that he was no longer using. He said, I'm just going to throw them out. Do you think your son would want to sell them on eBay for himself? So this is one of the items. It is a Technic, uh, Technique, Technic uh, turntable. Um, he sold this for $100. Um, it was not really fun to pack. <laughs> but I, you know, between me and him, we, we figured it out. Got some really nice pictures of it and it sold and we already got a positive feedback on it so very thrilled with that and not bad for a free item haven't heard me say that in a while have you next item was a new inbox vintage rag tag teddies was the name of this particular design uh stationary still shrink wrapped uh very happy with how this did it actually sold for $16.99 buyer paid shipping. Um, I know somebody when I hauled these said they didn't look like teddy bears, but I looked them up and that's what they were called, ragtag teddies. So very happy with that. I don't know. It's interesting. Are people writing letters now? <laughs> hey, I don't care. As long as they're buying stuff for me, that is fine with me. Next item is a Michelin New With Tag Mossy Oak Camo Hat. Sold this for $14.99. Buyer paid shipping. Um, I've been selling a few of these hats. Been kind of picking them up. And, uh, you know, just kind of uh, playing around with them. See if they'll sell. Uh, usually I can pick them up $0.50 cents or a dollar. Usually no more than that. So for $15, that ain't bad. And unless they're a special or whatever, I just folded the bottom half in and stuffed it with a ball of stuffing or like a paper and put it in a poly mailer. So I believe that went first class, which is even better. I actually found a couple of these. I don't know if I put them in a haul video or not. I can't remember. Um, but I found two of these at a uh, thrift store. They were only a buck or two each, and they are leather Ohio State uh, checkbook cover. Very happy to find these. Um, they were still in this little plastic sleeve. And I sold this for $27.99 and buyer paid shipping. Uh, so I still have one of these left and uh, waiting to see uh, if it's just a matter of time before it sells. 
guess what? Another Technic turntable. This one had a few condition issues, but uh, Connor sold it for $60. I believe it also needed a needle, and there was some, uh, I think, scratches or some kind of issue with the, uh, with the lid on it. But did pretty good. Took a lot of good pictures there. That's my boy. I'm sorry you're hearing all these extra notes in the back, but hey, I don't edit. We're just going for it. Uh, next item is a new in package right temperature thermostat. This is also programmable. Whenever you see these in a package and they're unopened, snag them up. I didn't pay that much for this and looked it up and sold it for $49.99, buyer paid shipping. So I've sold several of those. Whenever I see them, man, I, I grab those up. Um, this actually was a Black Friday find. Um, this is a new sealed Dremel 162 accessory kit. I uh, believe we picked this up for $8 at a local store. Um, and my husband's like, well, I don't really need it, but I'm sure you could sell it. Sold for $34.49, buyer paid shipping. Still factory sealed. And pretty good deal. So, some people have asked me, do you go out on Black Friday? No, I don't. My husband did, and look what he got. So, that was a good deal. Um, this, uh, if you'll remember, I believe from last summer, I uh, picked up a box of these and some other uh, square cut fabric. Uh, asked the lady how much they were. She said, oh, they're free. Just take them. So, I sold the other ones made a ton of money off of those. These were just not selling. They were one pound of pre-cut five inch square fabric. Um, I ended up putting them on auction for 99 cents and shipping was like nine bucks and it sold. So this is one of those things where, you know, I made a ton of money off the, the first handful. I didn't mind just blowing these out. And if they wouldn't have sold at auction, I just would have ended up re-donating them. Next item, these were um, a set, a lot of two, Man Working on Engine, 1959 Kodak Slides. Uh, sold these for $4.99, free shipping. So they went into a first class envelope with a piece of cardboard. And as long as it is under one ounce and it's not too thick and it's not oversized, the envelope, you can ship that with a first class stamp. Next item, I bought some of these this summer, been kind of slowly trickling and selling these. This is a leaded stained glass strawberries, sold for $9.99, buyer paid shipping. Another slide, 1960, Naked Woman Behind Red Pillow. I know it looks kind of orange in this light, but I uh, love the 1950s couch and lamp and furniture. <laughs> <laughs> but there's some really weird ones that were in this lot. Uh, this is one of the least weird ones. <laughs> so, hey, 10 bucks, free shipping, not a problem. Uh, I've had this listed for a while. It is a vintage postcard holder, uh, very old, uh, made in Germany. I uh, had this up for a while. I ended up uh, marking it down. It sold for $9.99, buyer paid shipping. I uh, had a handful of these from a school sale that I did a while ago. And I had maybe four of these listed. Uh, buyer paid uh, $29.98 for two of them. So I believe I had them for like $14.99. Buyer paid shipping, still new in the, uh, in the plastic. Um, scientific, uh, standard, not a really highly sought after one, but I believe I only paid a buck or two for these. Uh, just recently picked this up and it sold pretty quick. This is a Yankee Candle Company, uh, room aroma for a Roomba. Um, I sold this for $14.99, buyer paid shipping. Picks. Goodness. Um... Next item is a Vera Bradley crossbody 
uh, purse in the style Cambridge. It sold for $19.99 uh, buyer paid shipping. Again, I stuffed this with some plastic uh, bags to give it some nice shape and make sure you take inside pictures. But it was very clean, very nice. Um, these, I picked up a handful of these dirt cheap a long time ago and I'm actually just trying to get rid of them. I may end up just donating these because I'm tired of looking at them. But they are new and packaged Rhesus earbuds. Um, they look like little Rhesus pieces. Sold these for $3.99, buyer paid shipping. Uh, two more slides. Went to the same customer. Uh, yeah, surprising a guy in a towel on the phone in the bathroom. Why not? Um, the next one, it's kind of funny because I put it as man blindfolded at party. Uh, yeah, he definitely has a blindfold. But what does that look like to you? <laughs> I looked at this closer and I go, that looks like a tampon. <laughs> Hey, I don't know what games they played in the 60s, but there you go. I was born in the 60s, so yeah. So these two slides were $9.99 each, sold for $19.98 plus free shipping. They went in a first class uh, stamped envelope and off they went. And why you want to be playing with a tampon blindfolded in the 60s, I have no earthly idea. But even the vintage TV in the back is really awesome. So that is all I got for December, 21 minutes, 45 seconds. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Hope you guys did really good in December. I'll keep bringing you these videos because I know you find it interesting what sells for other people. And remember, these items are, I have the list it and forget it mentality. I do revisit my listings, but I rather have that slow, slow dime than a fast nickel. So. If you think, how in the world is she getting prices for these? That's my selling philosophy. So thanks again for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, follow me also on Periscope and Twitter under The Pudgy Picker. So I will see you next time. And until then, happy picking and happy selling. Bye.